students. Well, it's that time of year again, back to school. Students in five parishes will head back to the classroom this week. Well, that means drivers have to get ready as well and expect more patrolling near school zones. Our Katie Easter reminds us of the rules to follow in those zones. As parents get back into the routine of dropping their kids off at school, drivers have several laws to follow, including texting or speeding in a school zone. The last thing that we want to start a school year off with is a tragedy that it can occur with an accident. Speeding in a school zone here in St. Landry Parish is a mandatory court date and can be two to three times your average speeding fine. Uh, there is a set fine for speeding in a school zone and it could be as much as three, four hundred dollars depending on uh, how many times you've done it. Kijo says this year they have a plan to catch the speeders. We have new speed control trailers now that tell us when we set it up on the side of the highway uh, it documents and records the number of vehicles that pass at a certain time and their speed. Uh, so we know how to use our enforcement team in what days and times and hours to do that. Other laws to be mindful of include driving past a bus, picking up or dropping off students. We cannot have people run school bus arms on these school buses. That's a major fine in St. Landry Parish. The only exception to the rule is if you're on the opposite side of a divided highway with two travel lanes on each side. Katie Easter, KTC, TV3.